In this video, you'll learn how to export from Revit and import into Rhino. The first thing you want to do is go to a 3D view and you want to make sure that the model is ready to be exported out into Rhino. And so I'm going to do that by hiding away this current facade that's on it. And the best way to do that is by double pressing V. I just pressed VV. I'm going to go to imported categories and turn off this facade wood wave. And when we apply that, you should see that it disappears. So now once you've got your model ready, you're in a 3D view. What you can do is go to file, export, and you want to save this out as a CAD format. And I'm going to do a DWG. Now there's one setting that we need to change before we do export this out as a DWG. And what we want to do is click this modify export setup, the three dots here. And you'll see a few different tabs come up, but we want to go down to solids and save this out as an ACIS solids and click OK. This is going to be a lot neater and a lot cleaner. What we can now do is then hit next and it's going to export this out as a DWG 2018 or the latest file version you've got is fine. Uh, all the other settings are fine. We're just going to save this in a certain spot. I am just going to save this in here and click OK. And now you've got a model that's exported out as a DWG, which you can then import into Rhino. So I'm going to open up a new Rhino file. We want to hit File, Import, and then find where you've saved this. So for me, that's in here. I'm just going to open that up. The settings here are generally fine, but you can change them if you want. If we click OK, you're going to see that it imports our model. So now you can see that it's imported our file. You might have to zoom out in order to find it. And you can see it's currently as a wireframe. If we change the visibility settings to shaded, it might be a little bit easier to look at. And this is going to run a bit slow for me because um, this is, you know, relatively large file. But the cool thing about importing this into Rhino is that if you go to your layers tab, you're going to see that every single part of your Revit model has been broken down into different layers, which are assigned different colors depending on what layers or what objects they are. Now I find this super helpful because if I'm just, you know, trying to wrap this facade, this tower facade here with a facade, I don't need to see everything else. So what you can actually do is just turn off every other layer and you can do that by selecting one layer, going down to the bottom layer, holding shift and selecting that and then holding, holding down control. I'm then going to find what layer this facade is on and this yellow and green one I want to keep. And now I'm just going to click this little button here, the light bulb, and that's going to turn everything else off. So this will run a bit smoother now. It's not as large trying to show all of this other irrelevant information. This video has been taken for my Rhino and Revit workflow beginners course. If you're interested in designing some really cool things inside of Rhino and having the ability to document them inside of Revit as well, then this course is perfect for you. It's over two hours long and mimics a real life project, which is actually my studio project and you get access to all of the course files and all the materials you need to be able to successfully work between Revit and Rhino. I'll see you there.